Welcome to this session on transitions. Transitions are very essential in creating a video project. When you add multiple segments in your project, you often add a transition so that the video transitions smoothly from one into another. In this project, I have added two video segments. When I play the video, the frames in the video changes abruptly when the time crosses over this point. This is where we can use transitions to make it transition smoothly. To bring up the transition panel, tap on this little square button here. There is a large collection of transitions here to choose from. You can select a transition just by tapping on the preview image. Let me select this basic one called the fade transition and then increase the transition duration using this slider above. Transitions are categorized in different types, which you can choose from here. For example, I can go to this motion section and then select a motion transition. In some transitions, like this one, you can see a curve indicator on the preview image. This indicates that it can either run smoothly or abruptly. And you can toggle this behavior by tapping on the selected transition again. Let us try this on another transition called the ripple. You can see how the transition toggles between abrupt and smooth when we tap on the same transition button. But for this project, I will choose another basic transition called the fade in, which I guess would look nice here. Now let me play the video and see how it looks. This looks perfect. Now the transitions need not be applicable only on the base layer or only on photos or videos. They can be applied at any level and between any type of segments. Let me quickly add two text segments above. Now we have these two text segments touching each other. We can add a transition here as well. Let me apply this motion transition and see how it looks. In transitions, just like in keyframes, we can apply easing curves. Tap on this curve button on the top right, and it should show all the curve options. Some transitions like this one already has a curve selected other than the linear one. When we select the linear curve, it means that the speed of transition is uniform throughout the entire transition duration. To make the transition speed dynamic, we can select these other curves. This one slows down the speed in the beginning, and this one slows it down in the beginning as well as at the end. To make things even more interesting, we can choose something like this elastic one here, which makes the transition to bounce. Also, the transitions need not be only between two segments. They can also be applied at the beginning or at the end of a segment. They are indicated by these little triangles, like this one here. Let me select this push up transition. And then select a easing curve. This looks cool. Let me also add a transition at the end. Now let me play the whole text transitions. That is all in this session. Thank you for watching.